Hey everybody, this is Meyer. A few of you were asking how I actually modulate the modulation wheel for some synths or the pitch wheel in arrangement view when not all synths allow you to do this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how, and I'll have a link in the description where you can download these Macs for Live devices that'll allow you to do this. It's a very simple thing, but it's one annoying thing about Live that really pissed me off when I first started around with Live. So I created this Macs for Live device to do it. So the issue that happens, and if you've never run into this issue, then, uh, well, Maybe you're, you'll, you will run into this issue. Um, most synthesizers allow you to modulate the pitch bend in arrangement view. So if I, you click configure and I drag the mod wheel, I have the mod wheel here and I can right click and show automation in a new lane and I can have clips and basically draw the automation in like so. But on other synths, like Hive, what happens is the developers don't always enable it to be a modulated parameter because they expect you're gonna be doing MIDI CC automation. So in this case, for instance, what's going on here, if I click on configure here on Hive 2 and I move the mod wheel, the mod wheel's not showing up. So as a result, I can't automate it here in the, in the view directly, even if I try to show all the parameters. So what you end up having to do is do it on a clip by clip basis. So you'd actually have to go into envelopes and do, do you know, find modulation wheel. But that only works per clip. That doesn't allow you to do it across the whole channel, which is annoying. So what I have here are three Max for Live devices. Um, I'll, I'll show you these as well. There's a mod and pitch wheel, a mod wheel, and a pitch wheel. So the mod wheel is just the mod wheel, the pitch wheel is just the pitch wheel, and the mod and pitch wheel is gonna be both. And when it starts up, the pitch wheel jumps. So this is a, you know, do either one. And now if I open Hive back up, when I start moving the mod wheel, you'll see the modulation wheel is moving around. So what you can do is right click and show automation in a new lane. And now what you've done is you basically have the ability to modulate your mod wheel, your MIDI CC1 in arrangement view. Now why Live doesn't let you do MIDI CC automation in the arrangement view in these cases. I have no idea, but this is a workaround to get around that. And it's really, really simple. You can do the same with pitch wheels, which is really cool. If you wanna have like a riser that goes over several bars and you don't wanna to have to automate it for the whole clip, this is what this also allows you to do. Now, the one thing I would say is I would not do this for plugins like Serum where you already have a mod wheel. It's not that it won't work, it will work. It's just not necessary because you're just modulating another parameter that's already there. So when you create these things, what I generally do is I group these together and then save this group as its own preset. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll even map this to the first macro on the eight macros that you see here in live, which makes it really, really useful. So if I go over here and I look for my, my hive rack, you'll see when I drag this on a new a new channel, let me just do that. You'll see I already have some stuff pre-mapped. I have the mod wheel already mapped to MIDI, to basically the first wheel, and then I have some other stuff like a LFO tool. So this is just pretty much the way I tend to have things set up by default, but it's good to have this system. So anyway, check that out. If you find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a lot of other cool new stuff coming. Sorry, it's been a while since I've posted. I've been on, been on vacation a little bit, but uh, getting back to it. All right, have a good one.